that's fine. Delivered by Danny. <laughs> this looks pretty phenomenal. All right, that's our premium duck bit. Okay, so this is, uh, tell me, yeah, come on this over. Is the, uh, this, this is the Meyer Instagramming and Facebook thing. Okay. This is our premium duck bit special. It comes with a bone marrow. Bone marrow, okay. Big rib, big, big ribs. Oxtail. Ox, oxtail. And all the vegetables. Wow, this is, this is crazy. This is, I like this. Okay, so tell me uh, oxtail, like, Obviously, there's not a lot of uh, meat in the box. It's very, stuff. very expensive. Okay. This actually used to be a, uh, a cheap meat back in the day for people with leftover meat. And then uh, yeah. back in the day, people started using this. They were okay. with it and it became they, so much popular right now. Like, uh, I'm selling about $5 a pound. Right now. Five, five dollars and five dollars a pound. Yeah. Pretty cool. This is, and then bone marrow. I love bone marrow. Bone marrow. Bone marrow. Cheap, a cheap bone, a cheap meat that people use throw away every day. Now it's a delicacy. It is, right? It's, it's expensive. Very expensive. It's, 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 it's very expensive, right? So, I usually you get it in restaurants. They cut it lengthwise and you cut it out, put it on toast point, spread it. Okay. It, but okay. My, my version, you know, you scoop it out, put it in your bone, and it gives okay. the umami of the flavor of the broth. Yeah, it gives you the extra buttery, this nice is, uh, juice. Fall off the bone, tender beef ribs. Yeah. You see that? So, yeah. <laughs> that that is awesome, and and the fact that you wear gloves to you know we'll, we'll go check out the uh, the, the kitchen quote oh, yeah. in a little bit here. This is pretty cool. So all right, I'm gonna dive into this. I'm excited. This looks so good. Look what Danny just dropped off. So this is our pho French dip. Pho French dip. This might take on a little baguette, and then I do a, a spicy aioli on the top. And spicy what? What is it? Spicy aioli. Which is okay. basically a sriracha uh, mayo. Okay. And then okay. on the bottom, I make my bone marrow butter. So wow. I mix bone marrow out of bones. Wow. Mix it with a butter and seasoning. And I spread it on the bottom. It's almost like a pate, but you know, mixed together already. Nice, nice, and nice. And then we layer it with brisket, um, basil, cilantro, onions, and then we top it off with hoisin and sriracha, and then my secret seasoning. So tell me, like, how do you, uh, you just kind of experiment with all this stuff, or how do you come up with, like, the, uh, the food? Actually, we were, we were just wanting to make, like, you know, a different variety of pho, you know, like, okay. different ways to eat pho. But this is all the notes of pho, and you dip into the beef broth or pho. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, that is, that is really unique. That's pretty cool. All right, let me take a picture of it before you cut it. All right, Danny, cut her up. <laughs> Wow, the crunch. I can crunch see, I, yeah, the crunch. Is it spicy? Or yeah, that's a little, that's a little kick. A little bit of kick. Little kick. Spicy aioli and a sriracha. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to try that. Oh yeah, we're gonna try that after I try this. Like everything spicy. Yeah, we, we like everything spicy. <laughs> The moment of truth, guys. Here we go. This looks absolutely amazing.
This is actually really good. One of the best pho I've ever had. And I eat a lot of pho. I mean, I probably eat them at least once a week. I have to ask him. I'm gonna have to ask him later. Where, you, where does he get the bone marrow? Because if you look at this, this is not something that you know. I'm sure you have to like buy it in bulk or look at look at this. This is incredible. Here. And it's actually, he says he puts this on the, the bottom of the sandwich, mixes it up, it gives it that extra flavor. Mm. This is amazing. They say that like chefs in New York that own their own restaurants and stuff, that are like head chefs and sous chefs and all that, they'll work all night at the busy restaurants and they'll go to a place that, that'll serve like bone marrow. Mm. Mix it in, give it a little bit more. That is incredible. This is unreal. And this is actually, he didn't make it, any, he didn't make it special for me. This is just how I guess he cooks it all the time, every single time. All I gotta say is, this is fucking awesome. It is fucking awesome. By the way, if you want to show some support, you love, uh, you gotta check out some of our swag on Amazon.com forward slash food addiction. Wow. Man. If you ever come to Houston, if you're ever downtown, watching the Rockets, watching the Astros, or watching uh, the Dynamos, any of a team out here in downtown, you gotta come out and check this place out. Mm. Mm. This shit is fucking awesome. <laughs> no, it is really good. Like, the first time I ate it, I was like, man, it's real good. No, I so I want to check it again, you know, check it out, see like... It's a change, the consistency... Like, no, the consistency yes, is still the, the consistency is incredible. It really is. So... I say that because you're drunk, right? <laughs> no, no, I'm not, I'm not... I am not even drunk, so... <laughs> I'm not drunk well, at all. We can change that before you leave. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, we might we might have to... See, I, I want to eat that, and that looks so good. Take a bite before it gets cold, come on. Oh, okay, well, it's, I, can't, I can't help it, because this is so good, I'm just like, I want to finish it. You already it. know what this tastes like. No! It, it, it's like you take a bite and you're thinking, wow, you know, it's going to be the same the next bite. Like, no, it tastes a little bit different. You get a little, yeah, a little, 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 Alright, now dip it in and actually sit, let it sit in the, the broth for a few seconds. This is actually incredible. Because I'm thinking, you know, just like a sandwich, you know. Oh, so you're like, man, it's just a like, like. It's pho inside of bread. <laughs> yeah. And then you dip it into the actual, the pho broth, right? Let it sit, let it soak, let it, let it get tacky, get, you know. Get the, get the flavor back in. Yeah. Alright. Take it out, then I take it out. Yeah. Just take a bite of that. And now it's like, man, you're like, it's a whole new different thing. See? Mm. <laughs> right? It's like a whole new experience once you eat it without it. Yeah, it is. It's uh, it's like the, the other type of, uh, yeah, the American it's actually style. actually like a French dip, like yeah, French, with the yeah, it, and everything, yeah. It, it, it totally does taste like a it's French dip, right? It's, it's like Vietnamese style French dip. Yep. <laughs> like I made it so people would come back, not just as a hype. And I, you know, I, I just made it how I would eat. So how long does it take to 
I should taste it for two days. To make it not? Yeah. I have two processes. Okay. So some people can make it in a day, but I have two different processes. Okay, so that, that's where you really like yeah. marinate and like the sinks. And I use premium flavor. bowls, I use premium beets. Yeah, it, it definitely tells. I mean, this is a premium, like, premium a prop. Because is... I, I was telling everybody, like, I could, I could eat this without the, the Hoyas inside yeah. and the Sriracha inside. Yeah, dude. Really? Yeah. I'm actually going to open a second location summertime, so this is the exclusive right here. He gets to announce the exclusive. To the world. Yeah. Exclusive. Yeah. Nobody else knows about this yet. Uh, when, you, when, you know, when you open up, I want to go check out that other yeah, location. Yeah, you should. I'm going to go for sure. Yeah. Oh, that's really That's funny. That's hilarious. Right. That's cool. All right, brother. All right, brother. See you later. See you later.